I can on a flip of a dime just, you know, let her rip. Uh, can, can I ask? Oh, for it's me, not it's farting, about, uh, Bryce. I need to reevaluate my own relationship to, uh, quote, letting it rip. Mm. You gotta let it rip emotionally. Here it comes. I had to do it. Bryce! <laughs> All right, I'm bringing in Bryce right now. Bryce? Uh, Bryce, are you there? I, I am here. There's Bryce. Bryce, my boy. What is up? Ethan, Lyle, big fan of both of y'all. Oh, thanks, man. I'm a big fan of you, Bryce. Thank Bryce, you what's so going much. on? Let's just get, let's get right into it, Let's Bryce. get right into it. Um, I've been in a relationship. It's going to be six years in uh -huh. March. And um, we have intercourse, like a, a lot nice. of relationships. <laughs> nice. Bro, and sick. Um, Fire. That's epic. <laughs> it's sick. That's um, epic, bro. And here's the thing, though. Um, she is like, a, she's perfect. She is, a, 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 I took her virginity. She was a very timid girl. Um, and she's like the most perfect person ever. But I feel like she does not enjoy intercourse in the way that I do. I feel like she more so does it because I want it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. Have go you ahead. have you guys have you guys like had that conversation? Like, have you told her that that's how you you your read of the situation? Yes, I, I and I, I tell her that, response? and then she she denies it, of course. And maybe it's just my insecurities, like thinking mm -hmm. that I'm not doing a good enough job or something. But I don't know. I just have always felt like it's more so her doing it for me than doing it for herself and i'm always the one that takes initiative and whatnot let me ask you this do you think if looking back did she enjoy it more in the beginning of your relationship or has it always been mm. the same note well here's the thing i'll tell you this for we were young when we first met like we were like 19 and when we had sex it was like all the time in the car just you know mm college student stuff and she never really finished back then mm. she's never she's 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 a woman that that cannot or as well, far no, as she, you know you didn't for like the first year we just never focused on it it was more so about time you know like let's get right. it done let me finish no 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 let me rephrase that yeah let's fin that means you're coming <laughs> that's about that means right. it's about when you come uh -huh. yes yes yeah. yeah um so uh, if you have you like talked to her about like hey listen what what could i do to make this experience more enjoyable for you um yes we've we've talked about that and what i guess maybe i maybe i don't understand her perspective but she has uh -huh. told me that it it is more so about like emotional intimacy uh -huh. um when it comes to that and it's it's difficult for me because as a guy it's like you, you know it's really just i need to rub it out you know what i'm saying there's a there's an interesting thing happening here yeah so the first year you guys were having sex all the time yeah but then now you're talking about the second year she started to experience an orgasm or or tell me Kind of. Yeah, we 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 started um, we started living together, and so it was more so like we had more time, and mm. uh, we could really talk about those things. You know, you get more comfortable in the relationship and whatnot. But even so, uh, I, I, there have been times where, like, I feel like she maybe even faked it, just you know, and she, she okay, admitted okay. It. Was there ever a point in your relationship where you feel she was sexually gratified or sexually satisfied? Uh, yes, very sparingly, if, if you get So that. this has been something you've been insecure about for a long time. Oh, yeah, almost like the whole relationship, yeah. And she, she like, when you try to bring it up, she, she completely says that she doesn't, there's nothing wrong, and, like, there's no inkling of a thing that she would like you to do, or, or any, I'm more curious about, like, her response when you bring this up to her. What does she say? <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's just always, oh, I do enjoy it, even if, that's the thing, I have always associated finishing with enjoying it. She and said, wait, she said, even if what? Even if she doesn't finish, she, she enjoys doing it and letting me finish. Have you tried to, have you gone in, 
like having sex with her being like i'm this i'm gonna try my best this, one's this for one's you, for babe. her have yeah. you gone into it oh, like yeah. taking the oh, okay yeah. okay how does yeah. that go i think it goes it goes well but again that insecurity is still there like while i'm doing it that um, she's that she doesn't really want to be there right exactly mm. and um uh, what what sexual act makes her finish because uh, some women's bodies them, are very different some women can finish through you know normal intercourse penetration right. a lot of women can only finish through like direct stimulation hand movements mouth movement you know what i'm saying without getting too graphic of course of course what's um, that yeah it's 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 you want to say what it really yeah, is sure. lots of uh l lots of oral i guess beforehand okay. and then switching right, you're up putting in the work system. yeah and yeah. stimulating with my hands on other parts while I'm penetrating and, you know, and, okay, like, okay, okay, okay. Trying not to calm myself, you know. And do you have a problem with premature ejaculating? Uh, it's not premature, but it, 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 we've, we're so comfortable with each other mm -hmm. that my body, because when we first started, you know, doing it, I, I feel like I was so nervous that I wasn't finishing. And now we are so comfortable together. Let, that I can, on a flip of a dime, just, you know, let her rip. Okay, can I ask you this? So you, you, you talked to her, and she was like, oh, for it's me, not it's not farting, about, uh, Bryce. <laughs> you, you said, she, she said that for her, it's about the emotional aspect right. of it, right? Yeah. Have you talked to her about, like, okay, how can I best serve that? Candles. Um, we've talked a little bit about Oils. it. I guess that's 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 a place where i can improve is talking more about what that means to her she yeah. literally sometime has told me that like she enjoys talking and being emotional like speaking <laughs> to each other during the intercourse like that okay. helps so that's that's kind of i don't know it's weird for me i guess i i have an observation to make please What's you up? strike me as a guy who you've described coming as letting it rip You've said that you can right. come in three seconds. You even <laughs> described a whole first year of having sex with her where the focus was on time, or as right. I interpret that, as you busting and then the interaction being over. Right. What I'm, I'm, I'm seeing you as a guy who's yeah. very mechanical. He wants to get in and get it done. I'm seeing your girlfriend as somebody who's very emotional with sex, and this is not uncommon. Some women and men, it really, you know, they, it is a very emotional experience for them. And so I think you need to be extraordinarily mindful of what sex means to her. It means, mm. it means like hanging out a little bit beforehand, having a, some snuggling, so, lots of kissing, you know, talking about stuff, like a buildup. I'm not talking about, you can't be getting in there and then, um, Coming. You know, letting it rip and then complaining she didn't enjoy the sex. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, come. I get you. No, yeah. Because she's I, not, I, it's, I she doesn't strike her. me as someone who's real freaky, who's trying to get all weird in the bedroom. It sounds to me like she wants to have an emotional connection, and that to her is the most important thing about sex. I think you're absolutely right. I think I need to reevaluate my own relationship to, uh, quote, letting it rip. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, you, that's. <laughs> Yeah. You got you got to let it rip emotionally. Ooh, you got to come good. beautiful words out of your mouth into her ear vagina. Found that for that one. That's beautiful. That Thank good. you guys. Is there anything else we can help I, with? Well, I would also recommend couples therapy to you guys because I was that too. It sounds like you guys are in love. It sounds like you adore her mm -hmm. and it sounds like she's been with you for 6 years and you're not even making her you're not even sexually gratifying her so she got to like you too, right? Yeah. Right. So, so I recommend go to counseling because that's a great place to work out these kind of deep emotional issues. Because mm -hmm. you know what, in, in a case of someone like that, without knowing anything about your girlfriend, who I'm sure is lovely, there could be some kind of sexual trauma in her past. I don't know if that's uh, presumptuous, but there could be something that makes her turn off during like these quick or, or it's just turned off a sexual part of her brain and um i don't know but i'm saying that you know sex is such a i think we're discovering more 
that sex is such a personal Mm -hmm. and powerful and emotional thing Mm -hmm. and everybody is so different in how they experience sexual gratification or excitement Mm -hmm. that um, we can no longer just assume that people are going to have the same expectations as us Mm -hmm. in a sexual encounter. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, well, so different. But I, look, it sounds, I mean, look, I mean, even the fact that you're calling us right now and that you have, because a lot of people will, will say this, like they'll call in and talk about this and I'll be like, did you ha- talk to them about it? And they'll be like, no, I haven't yet. Yeah. So even the fact that you right. did that, I like, just see, I mean, you're trying. It's a lot. Mm-hmm. So, um. I agree. But also, you know, having that level of insecurity is also not good in a relationship. You want to be fully there you want to be fully present with her and so when she tells you you know i'm fine you know you want to be able to believe her right and so you guys i do think it's important to get through this um and i do think you guys can get through this but i think you gotta probably go into the acts more about like what does she do make it all about her right because at the end of the day you want to feel you want to feel that she's satisfied you don't want to feel insecure Follow her lead, follow her cues, don't listen to your cock, you know what I mean? Just follow her, just listen to her body, what she's saying, what what she seems to like, and maybe, um... Let her have her way. Just let her have her way. <laughs> Who's that from? That's Jordan Peterson. Play the whole thing for me, um, Zach. Yeah, let's hear it. This, this is from Jordan Peterson's oh, audio. Sure, sure. Go ahead. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Oh, Doing it up, stand by. Just saw my maternal grandmother sitting by the bank. I saw my maternal grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming pool, which real. was also a river. Her genital region was exposed dimly. It had the appearance of a thick mat of hair. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. <clears throat> she walked over to me with a handful of pubic hair compacted into something resembling a large artist's paintbrush. She pushed this at my face. I raised my arm several times to deflect her hand. Finally, unwilling to hurt her or interfere with her any further, I let her have her way. She stroked my face with the brush gently and said, like a child. That's really dark. It's something. I did, I, it sounds like something happened to him. He will, yeah, potentially. I mean, he is really dysfunctional, so that def- definitely str- rings true to me. Well, caller, how was that helpful? Yeah, did the good question. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you guys so much. Okay, good. Is there anything else that you want to say to the people of the computer before we go? <laughs> um, uh, thank you for talking to me about this. I have more questions. Me- oh, you yeah, have more questions? Like, do you it's your show. I want to let you do your thing. No, I, I. Listen, we're on the same wavelength here, but okay. things have you have you guys ever done like uh, explore different kinds of uh, sexual? I don't want to maybe not fantasies, but like I don't know. Have you guys ever? You guys just go in there and do it missionary? Like what? What's the extent of your guys' exploration? Well, fantasies. Um, we we've tried some stuff in the past, like you know, role play uh, or whatnot. But um, I feel like it always just comes back to. Uh, you know, as long as we're trying different positions and I don't know, trying to keep it interesting, um, it works. Would you say most, when yeah. you say role play? What kind of role play are we talking about? Well, I'd like to know um, that. Yeah, we can we can are, get are, into are, it. Are costumes um, involved? Well, here's the thing: we're both theater kids. Shout out Olivia. <laughs> okay, um, perfect. So we, uh, I mean, there was a time where, like, I don't know, maybe she pretended. She was a stripper, and I was the client. Oh my and- God, bro! Have you? Okay, I, 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 I am. Who's? <laughs> I guarantee that's not her. I was fantasy, about who? Brother. Who? Ha, has she ever suggested a role play, or is it typically? Um, oh. that was literally like year two of the relationship, bro. Okay, you are. Not- this woman is a saint, bro. <laughs> she, she got to figure is. it out. Have you? Have, has yeah. she ever suggested a role play, or is it all from um, your imagination? It's my, it's my dark twisted fantasy. Ah. I guess. Hey, what was her stripper name? Cherry. I don't know. No, I'm just. Bro, like, you are depraved. It's my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. <laughs> Has she ever proposed a role play? No, of course not, Ethan. Would you ask her to, and she's like, I don't know. 
No, no, no. It, it It is like we were had such a weird relationship to sex, you know, meeting at 19 years old that we were kind of nervous to like bring. Well, any now of you've been together up. for six years. So, yeah, yeah. I, I guess we could reopen the conversation. Well, just but you never asked her if you wanted if she wanted to do one. I have I have I think, a, you know, what she might like as a role play is uh, you role play that you're on your first date. And you don't know anything about her. Oh, I do know. I do right? know. Something. And so now, and he so likes... now it's, and so this is all, this is what she just wants. She's like, I want, yeah. she, you get the chance to, you ask her questions. What do you do for work? What's your life like? Different I think that, that could be fun. Also, you wow. could role play as a guy who's taking her out on a date. Yeah. To like a nice romantic dinner. Yeah. Mm. And then you come home, you put on some music. This is role playing, of course. Mm -hmm. And right, then um, right. you kind of maybe, or maybe you can cook her a meal. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? Just talk with her a little bit, get lost in her eyes. Then all of a sudden, you make the move. You go for the kiss. Mm -hmm. Then I let her rip. <laughs> then you good. come in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take off the VR goggles. <laughs> <laughs> But I am seeing a picture, if I can be frank with you, uh, where it seems like your pursuit of sexual endeavors seems very much centered around your needs and desires. Sure, sure. Yeah. I, I, but I, I will say it sounds like, um, I, I said this already, but, you know, I'm, gl I'm glad to hear that you are, it seem, seems as though have evolved from that and are now trying. So you care. Keep doing that, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've, I've I bought like toys and stuff for her, like mm -hmm. stuff for her. Does she use them? We have, yeah, together. We do them together. Okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, it's a decent start. You ever use one of those fucking giant back massagers, bro? That look like power a rocket. I know what you're talking, dude. About. Back in the day, I mean, not to get too graphic, but um, go ahead. That uh, that was like all we had, and. It was like that thing started up like a semi truck, you know. That thing was. Loud. It's not for everybody because that thing is yeah. fucking nuts, dude. Yeah. Did that sure. work on her or no? Oh yeah, but the, here's the thing: you could not put it directly on. It would like destroy it's her. Too much. Yeah. Would... Right. It's yeah. like a fucking jackhammer, dude. Yeah, absolutely. I remember when I, the, when I first started like masturbating as like a little like as like a like a little, kid. Like, I was like I was, well memo. I was like I remember I was ten and I had one of those like massager things and I put it on my penis and then, but I could there was nothing happening so it just turned red. God, it didn't feel good. Then why'd you do it? No, it felt good, but it was like you know when you're like there was no I couldn't come back then so. My dick turning red was my version of coming. Mm. There was no gas in the tank. Red hair. You know. Yeah. So uh, look, I hope this call was helpful for you. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Bro, go romance her, dude. Yeah. Let let her remind her why she's she fell in love with you. Mm. Absolutely. Thank you, you know guys. I mean? Of course. Get out there and and get and keep that girl, bro. Let it rip emotionally, like you Let said. Let it rip emotionally. That's, yeah, because, that's the motto. And it's true because maybe sex just isn't that important to her. Mm -hmm. And she yeah. and the closeness is what she likes. So give her that. Yeah. Go rip a dart. Go rip a dart, bro. Go rip a dart. Yeah. All right. What is that one from? That uh, is just a Nelk reference. You know, oh, okay. Nelk? I've, I met a guy who <laughs> has been in all of their like. They have all these like taking a virgin to the club videos and Nothing i met that? the guy who what happens when you bring a virgin to the club i don't i've never i haven't seen he the video rip. apparently in his pants bryce uh he just left although i'm oh. sure he'll he'll hear the uh goodbye i think you know he, what final That's, thing for bryce no, i think we nailed it i think we did a good so. job with bryce yeah. i yeah. It's that's he's a, hard, a young man. He's only yeah, twenty four. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a hard thing to like uh, when I when there's like insecurity. Uh, yeah. You know, it's a hard thing. Like, how much can you mm. uh, uh, help the a person you're with? How much can you help their insecurity? Because battling insecurity is such a personal thing. You know, you have yeah. to kind of face it's it on the your worst own a little too. bit. You don't. Whenever you feel insecure in a relationship. Yeah. It's the worst, so you you definitely want to get on top of it's, that. It's hard because uh, like more validation from other people doesn't is not the key to solving your insecurity. So you val it's like it's it's tough, you know. You have to do it on your own.
But well, that's no. probably a, a lot of what what's going to lead to on the road of cheating or infidelity is that if you're feeling insecure or unfulfilled in some way, emotional, it's emotionally mm -hmm. what's going to cause people to cheat, in my opinion, unless you're just a straight up mm -hmm. sex addict, because you're going to want to fill that emotional hole and it's going to sure. feel really good for you to do that. Until you realize what a mistake you made, but yeah. I'm with some bitch, like I'm cheating, right? Like I'm being a scumbag. <laughs> who, who is that? That's Keemstar. You have so much lore. H3 Clip Factory.